Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, hope you're having a good day and all that jazz, like I said earlier. Uh, time to talk about what I wore today. What did I wear today? I went with something simple, classic, an aftershave today. I didn't go heavy on a cologne or anything. I just kind of, yeah. Mm, you can go peeling off. Aqua Velva Musk aftershave. That's what I wore today. And I know some people will go, oh, why do you wear stuff like that? You've got all these fancy clones and this and that. And, and you go $5 aftershave, aqua velva. <laughs> kind of to reset myself every once in a while. I like to smell the classics, wear the classics. Um, to appreciate how far we've come. And maybe even a little bit of stuff we've lost over the years. Um, not everybody will like this old, these old frags, but it, like I said, for me, it's not always about that. It's about appreciating the past. You know, the old saying, saying, you know, we stand on the shoulder of giants that came before us. Um, and that just kind of means that we, we, we see the, the horizon, the future because of the things and the people that came from a, that you know, molded it into from the past, right? So I hope I explained that well. Um, that's kind of what it means. And these are the giants of the fragrance past. It's these cheap aftershaves that we, you know. That being said, you can really, if you try to smell and smell with an open mind and really dig deep, you can still, to this day, in, in a lot of modern colognes, smell the influence of something like this. You know what I mean? These are soapy, clean, fresh, musky kind of aftershaves, you know, barbershop -y. Uh There's, uh, for an example, something like this. If you take uh, Lamal, take out the musk and the... You know, the, the heavy alcohol. But yeah, add some lavender in there, a little more lavender, a mint, uh, some sweet vanilla. You can smell that barber shop kind of smell still in there. And a lot of fragrances are like that. So it's not as as crazy as you might think for, for someone to like these. Or at least I like them, but I also really appreciate them, like I said, for what they've done for fragrances. So that's why I wore it today. Long-winded way of saying I like it and it makes me appreciate fragrances even more. Boom, simple. Um, I couldn't find a release date on this. Uh, it was all over the place, but the most consistent one I seemed to find was 1975. So before I was born, like, so, so it seems to be the uh, one that keeps popping up the most, so that's what we'll go with. Um, so, the notes are musk, powdery notes, leather, lemon, and tobacco. Uh, I don't know how I applied it. Splashed it on. Put another one on. Wiped it on my shirt. Um, fresh, soapy, powdery musk vibe. Uh, the musk isn't super funky or animalic. Now, it may have been in the past. I don't know. I don't have a bottle from the 1970s or 80s. I don't know. Because uh, there's always somebody, oh, it was way better in the past. Okay, fine. I don't know. I'll take your word for it. But, yeah. Um, it's not super clean and light, though, either. It's not like a modern, you know, white musk kind of fragrance. Um, no. Kind of an in-betweener. Leaning a little more old school, though. A little more danker animalic than... Your white musk, but it's not super, you know, it's not deer piss, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. Um, that's kind of the fragrance, honestly. Uh, you know, I don't pick up any tobacco. Uh, there's a hint, a slight, slight hint of lemon at the very top. This doesn't have any menthol or anything, it's not as cooling as. Even though I think it says cooling. No, this one just says aftershave cologne. Yeah, there's no menthol or mint or anything like that. And give it that cooling effect. But it is still gives you a nice splash it on after you shave. Uh, 
just the alcohol evaporant. Just cool your skin, tighten your skin. Um, but it's a powdery, soapy, clean, musky scent. Like I said, at the end of the day, that's it. Um, does have that old school aftershave vibe to it. Um, but that's okay every once in a while. You know what I mean? Like I said, you learn to appreciate it. Where we've come because of stuff like this. Uh, does smell aftershavey. You know, it's not, I'm not saying this is going to be for everyone. Uh, but at least appreciate it. You should smell some of these old frags, like I said, that have come before. Uh, if you haven't, they're cheap. Five, ten dollars. Get you a bottle, a big bottle of this, ten bucks. And uh, just to say you smelled those classic fragrances. You may not like it. And quite honestly, if you're not, if you're young and you've never really, you know, all you really known are the modern fragrances, you're probably going to hate this. It, But yeah, to me, it just, like I said, I appreciate them for what they are. I enjoy wearing them from time to time. And I had a good day wearing this. I, I really did. Performance, it's an aftershave, guys. Three hours, uh, Three and a half of a mean generous uh, pro projections pretty good again aftershaves project really well because of the alcohol uh a solid 45 minutes arms length if not more out there then it comes in real quick and it's a skin scent for a couple hours and then it's gone but you know for an aftershave you know and a classic that's helped mold the the fragrance world sure it's great Give it a try, guys. Give it a try. You may not like it, I know, and it's okay if you don't. It, sometimes, like I said, it's not about just liking something. It's about trying something just to see how far we've come. So, peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves.